At that time in Stutthof, there were bodies everywhere. On the fences or the ground below them, those who suicided by electrocution. On the gallows, bodies from recent hanging. Yesterday's dead waiting to be taken away. Today's dead not yet removed from the barracks. As cold weather approached, we stole their clothes. There were frequent suicide by climbing the high barbed wire fence after it was electrified at dusk. Sometimes the clothing got so firmly caught on the barbs that the body remained there hanging like a twisted scarecrow. In 1954, I was naturalised as an Australian citizen. It was a memorable day. Two colleagues accompanied me to the town hall for the ceremony. Then after work, there was a party in the office to celebrate it with drinks and nibbles. Dr. Alan Jackson said to me, Helena, we have beer, sherry, brandy and pimps. What will you have? Having never heard of pimps, I asked for one. He poured a bit of a brown liquid into my tall glass and walked away. I said cheers to John Birrell, who was standing beside me, and drank it like vodka in one gulp. I was still gasping for air when the boss returned with a bottle of lemonade and slices of orange. He looked at my empty glass and said, now I know why your hair is so curly. Severely embarrassed, I hissed at John, why didn't you tell me this drink was to be diluted? And he replied in his booming voice for all to hear, Harlina, you are now in a free country. You want pimps neat, you have it neat. I haven't found an easy way of, of telling about all this. And here it is. And it's such an enormous relief that it's done now. And I've done the duty, it was an obligation. Partly because there are few survivors from Stutthof, but also because we should testify until we die. <laughs>